everyone. Today is Wednesday. Uh, today is Wednesday, October 16, around 10 p.m. And we're going to go with a very technical video today. The very technical video day today, we're going to be based most of the video in the S&P. Why? We did a seminar today. Everyone understands at the stage where each individual pairs are. But we would like to take a deep look at the S&P. S&P, what you got is, first, a sideways consolidation. Sideways consolidation that's very dangerous. Uh, they are very dangerous in the case that many times this sideways consolidation can become, can become a nest to the downside or can become some type of trap. Now, I want you guys to understand that if you're gonna be bullish risk, your your risk level at least for I mean, at least for a minimum risk is right here around the 12, 12 30 area. A taking of this level is gonna open the door to at least test the two hundred area when this leg is gonna be equal to the drop from here. Now Let's see the bullish triangle. The bullish triangle runs like this. You got A, B, C, D, E, and then the S&P is going to start trading higher and dragging all the pairs or risk pair, talking about Euro, Cable, Aussie, New Zealand, all those pairs, they're going to trade higher and then the dollar is going to trade lower. That's the most bullish scenario. Now, we have a semi-bullish scenario. What is the semi-bullish scenario? That we have A, and then we have A, B, C, D, E, and then it's going to start going lower. Now, a, a print about this level, which is 1249, that should be enough to invalidate the bearish triangle. The bearish triangle doesn't mean that this low, this high is going to hold. The bearish triangle only means that it's going to be delayed because then he's going to make A, a triangle B, a C, but because triangles cannot be a way to, that means that this low, this high here is going to be broken. The third scenario, I don't like it, but it is possible, is one, two, one, two, and then this is too much. One, two, one, two, that's too much. That's forcing the bias, in my opinion. I believe that this is either a bullish triangle or a bearish b way triangle. But I have to mention to you guys the idea, because the last stop in May, it was very similar. Everyone was expecting a trust in the high, and the S&P never happened until everyone was surprised. Okay, that's about the S&P in an hour. Now, let's move on to the S&P in the four hour, so you guys can see how you guys can see how it looks like. One second. Let me put it here. This is how it looks like. Let me open the chart. One second, this chart is not bad. Okay, this is how it looks like in the biggest degree. Again, either here or the S&P is gonna do this, it's gonna go here, and then from here, in that case it is from here, it's gonna test lower to, it's gonna trade lower to a level around 1182, and then it's gonna trade higher. At, there is my personal opinion, my personal opinion, I'm favoring the bullish one, only because I see structures within the, the forest market, very mature structure. 
and this move and the first one do not support the idea that the S&P is gonna drop to 1182 and let's say cable which is showing almost a complete structure and the dollar and the euro dollar how those pairs they're gonna keep going down because this bearish scenario do not support that type of movement. That's why we are supporting the bullish scenario. Now, let's keep going now to some individual pairs. Okay, in the individual pair, we're gonna start with cable. Cable, as it's showing a very complete five-way move from the top. And this is something, guys, that I want you guys to understand. The reason why we are preferring cable and uh, the bullish triangle is because if you guys take a look at it, we've been mentioned for over a month already that cable, it will trade to around 57 area. 157 and that's what we got today. So the minimum target that it was required in cable, it was met. Now, this structure, look at the 60 minute chart. This structure is a well-defined RSI proven to be a nice five-way swing and that's why we prefer the bullish triangle because cable, it won't go lower. I mean, if the S&P drop to, if the S&P drop to, uh, if the S&P drop to 11.89, there is no structure here that allows that drop before a, a huge pullback let's say to around 159, 160. So that's the reason why we are favoring the idea of a bullish triangle. Because let's say that cable do not go and break the 162, 165, 60 area. But at least if it's not the case, the bullish triangle with the trust it's gonna take cable to 160, 161 area, and then cable, if the top is in place, cable is gonna drop. Another one in the same scenario is Euro. Let's take a look at Euro. Look. We present this count in the money and it looks to be the one in place. A nice five ways move. Now, what do you need? I mean, in order to get along, you need a defined five way move from the lows or a break of 3550. We made it either way. I believe that this is an enforce. I believe that is well defined. And again, that structure only right there do not support a drop in S&P to 1100. So, to 1190 area. So, that's why we keep favoring this as an area. Now, Euro in the four hour, Euro in the four hour, two possible scenarios. Either this is the top of the E way of the daily triangle, and then you got one, and then you have A, a B, and then you're gonna get to 139, 140 and drop. Or this is W, this is S, and gonna go to 144. Just you need to wait. Look, it's around the 76, uh, it's around the the 76.4% that we were waiting, but the defining moment is gonna be when? When you see five ways, when you see five ways like this. 
in around this area, the decline here is going to dictate lower or higher. Otherwise, it's a speculate and we only have to wait. I mean, so uh, that's, that's why you, how you have to see the euro. So in general, guys, we see some type or low, or I'm sorry, sometimes uh, or, or, or temporary top, the degree of the top that is going to be found within the US dollar, it needs to be seen. But we believe that the US dollar pairs is going to create some type of top soon. Now, we need to see the reaction at the top. And remember, coming from the top is a process. You cannot get bearish dollar, you cannot get bullish dollar, you better wait and take and take the things one step at a time. In that way, you're gonna be a successful trader. Finally, let me show you a pair that it was mentioned. It's the Euro Yen and the Euro Cap. The Euro Yen is showing a double zigzag to the pit. One, two, three, triangle B, one, two, three to the equal legs. Bullish. And then this is even more bullish within the Euro. This is the Euro cap. Look at look that consolidation right here. Look. It's calling bullish Euro. So with that in mind, again, I think that this is a very simple video. We have a seminar today, so better if you guys wait. Five ways. We're gonna be ready, either Didi, James, or myself, we're gonna be ready to attack the market. Thank you guys.